Did you catch that? 21 degrees outside, and that is headed down, that temperature. It was 60 in New York City on Sunday, 21 today, getting colder, snow on the way. Wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's I hate this. Yeah, I, know. I really do. It, Let's show you what's change. going on right now. Again, we've got another Arctic high, and we've got reinforcing cold air behind that. So we are going to be watching this strong high-pressure build-in. It's going to push in this much colder air. So we've got wind chill warnings and wind chill advisories stretching from the Dakotas all the way into the northeast today. Right now, it feels like 16 below in Minneapolis, 8 below in Chicago, 0 in Cleveland, New York City, it feels like 9. And then tomorrow morning, record lows, Minneapolis, minus 27. We're going to get to minus 14 in Minneapolis tomorrow morning, minus 4 in Indianapolis, Cleveland at 7. And as you look at the, we move into the northeast, it'll be 24 in New York City, 16 in Charleston. And look at this, Thursday, even colder, 9 below in Chicago. That's an air temperature, 10 below in Indianapolis. Plus, we've got this clipper system that's going to be coming across. Portland will see uh, very close to record lows. Central Park, too. We've also got lake effect snow watches, warnings, winter weather advisories, and winter weather warnings. As this clipper comes across, snow is developing. In fact, let's look live right now. Washington, D.C., we are talking about snow a few inches. This will basically shut down Washington, D.C. There will probably be, uh, in fact, we already know we've got the closures of schools in and around the D.C. area. Stretching from D.C. back to Columbus, look at the White, Pl the White House right now. You can see the snow. Now, Chicago, they've seen a few inches of snow already. There have been some school closings as well. Roads getting uh, anywhere from two to three inches of snow. And overnight in Oswego and upstate New York, semi-tractor trailers off the road, big problems. They've picked up they're going to pick up anywhere from a foot and a half to two feet of snow in some spots. Let's go to Dylan Dreyer right now. She is right now in upstate New York, just outside of Syracuse. Snow has stopped, but the cold is still coming, Dylan. Oh, it definitely is, and I've caught a cold myself too, Al. But the heaviest band of lake effect snow has now pushed well to our north, but it was absolutely brutal when we got here to Central Square yesterday. Take a look at this picture I took just before 5 o'clock. Near whiteout conditions, it was next to impossible to drive, and then literally minutes later, it looked like this. Totally clear, and that is the nature of lake effect snow. Now, as that clipper system moves to our south, it is going to shut off the lake effect snow here in western New York for most of the day today, but that clipper has made a mess of roads back through Sioux City, Iowa. We saw this pile up on I-29. Amazingly, nobody was injured. We also saw dangerous roads up near South Dakota where the heavy snow made for whiteout conditions there. And now we are focusing on the cold. We've already seen the cold hit areas like Minneapolis and back through Chicago where uh, people are just bundling up and trying to brace for the cold as best they can. But when wind chills are down around 30 below and getting colder, it's kind of hard to bundle up enough to stay warm. And Al, you know, as we see this clipper move through, we are going to see winds again here shift back over to the west and northwest. That'll turn back on the lake effect snow machine. And as you mentioned, we could see another one to two feet of snow where the heaviest bands of snow set up in this area. Absolutely, Dylan. In fact, let's go to the map right now and show everybody. Here's what we're talking about uh, from the leeward side of the eastern Great Lakes, Erie, Pennsylvania, western New York, on between Watertown and Syracuse guys we're talking about another two feet of snow and then we've got this reinforcing shot of cold air right on into the weekend so uh, we are going to be in the deep freeze for a little while longer add insult to injury right yeah. I recognize this may be hard to believe considering the cold that's gripping so many of us around the nation maybe it will help if you think back to the summer when we were all cranking up the AC because 2014 will go down as the warmest year around the globe in recorded history NBC's Ann Thompson explains. For many Americans, 2014 will be remembered as the year of digging out. I'm done with winter, officially. Beginning and ending under a pile of white. <laughs> I'm ready to move. <laughs> but for the planet as a whole, 2014 is set to be the warmest year on record. Continuing a century-long trend from cooler than average temperatures in 1913 to a predominance of above average temperatures in 2013. 
This year's record fueled by the warming oceans with seven consecutive months of new high temperatures. While yearly changes may play a role, NOAA says the prime suspect is climate change. Greenhouse gases warm the atmosphere. That atmospheric temperature increase then penetrates into the ocean as well. On land, Australia sweltered through its hottest spring on record, with temperatures topping 100 degrees. Researchers say this was Europe's hottest year in 500 years. Even Siberia felt the heat. The coldest town in the world, Oymyakon, averaged a record 9.5 degrees in February. Usually, it's 51 below all in stark contrast to much of the U.S. This year, the West was very warm. The central and eastern parts were average to below average. In fact, January to November were the coldest in the lower 48 since 1997, despite record warmth in Arizona and California, making it a small cold spot in a record warm year. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.